हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय चैनल मैथ फन लर्निंग किड्स इफ यू लाइक माय वीडियो प्लीज सब्सक्राइब इट एंड शेयर विद योर फ्रेंड्स थैंक यू सो टुडे दिस वीडियो इज अ पार्ट टू वीडियो ऑफ इंटरनेशनल मैथ्स ओलंपियाड पेपर यू ऑलरेडी सो इंटरनेशनल मैथ्स ओलंपियाड पेपर क्लास वन year 2019 this is the set a so this video is a part two video and the, the uh, topic of that uh, video is a uh, mathematical reasoning so this is the second section of this olympiad paper so now you already know when we start reading our step first step is we are just take uh, keep a pencil ready and question is important you have to underline the important terms or a word here so let's start okay how many ice creams should be crossed to show eight ice creams uncrossed that means Okay, how many ice cream we have to cross this so that eight ice cream was uncrossed so there are the number of the ice creams are there so let's see eight ice cream uncrossed so we'll just write the number here one two three four five six seven and eight so eight ice cream uncrossed so we are not crossing these eight ice cream the rest of the ice cream we are going to cross it 1 2 3 4 5 6 so how many ice cream we crossed here we crossed six ice cream so our correct answer is b 6 okay so this is called a visual formation visually you done this if you want to do done through a numerical form so let's start how we will do so first you have to count the number of the ice creams how many ice creams are there 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 so there are 14 ice creams are there so i'll write 14 here so there are 14 ice creams are there so we'll write 14 here so what is that 14 14 is a total number of ice cream right so i'll just write here total number of ice cream. This is tens. This is ones. One is on the tens place. Four is on the ones place, and we crossed. How many ice cream should we cross it? So it's a six. But we see here eight ice cream uncrossed. So we'll just eight ice cream uncrossed. So we have to minus it, subtract it. These are uncrossed ice creams. We are not cross these ice cream. So let's subtract this. Four minus eight. Is it possible? No, it is not possible. So what we will do? Yes, we will borrow from here tens place. We will borrow one from here. It will change into a fourteen. Four will change into a fourteen, and this will become zero. So fourteen minus eight is six. Now you can see. These six ice creams are crossed ice cream. So we cross these six ice cream. As you see in a paper visually, but here we saw a here we solve this one. This is so our correct answer is six. So our correct answer is six B. Yeah. So now the ne next we'll come to the next part. Next question twelve. Which of the following abacus shows the number of birds sitting on the branch of the tree? 
okay so you you can see here it's a small uh, picture is there you can see it's a branch and there are some number of the birds are sitting there so let's count the number of the birds 1 2 3 4 5 6 total number of the birds are 6 so that means so which abacus shows the this is the correct one so 6 is the 6 is on which place is a single number so it is on the ones place O means ones place so you can see this is the abacus it is a tool you can see tens rod and the ones rod so both are filled which number is this 2 we will just write it here 2 1 2 3 4 this is 4 this number is a 24 that's not a correct here the tens is 0 and the ones place 1 2 3 4 5 so that means this is a 5 no that is also not correct so let's see here c c1 tens and ones tens is a 0 let's count this ones 1 2 3 4 5 6 yes this is the correct answer so c is our correct answer well done kids now come to the 13 question number 13 paint brush is dash this is the shape longer than the nail so that means we have to find out the paint brush what is the length of the paint brush and what is the length of the nail and how much paint brush is longer than the nail first this is the we can say this is the rectangle shape so we have to find out how many rectangle shape of this uh, paint brush is uh, long and how many rectangle shape this the nail is so let's count the shape uh, how many shape it is uh, paint brush is equal to 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so you can see the paint brush the length of the paint brush is 7 yes and let's see the uh, count the length of the nail you can see the nail has started here so let's make a little line like this it started from here so we will count from here 1 2 3 so you can see the nail length is 3 okay 3 uh, rectangle shape so how many how much longer this paint brush than the nail say so it is then is also there so that means we have to subtract it if we subtract it 7 minus 3 is 4 so our answer is 4 the answer a is correct okay well done now come to the question number 14 group dash has the least number of candies least what does it mean least least means a less amount of the candies so you can see there are the three boxes and in these boxes there are then some number of the candies are there so num some number of the candies are there so let's count the number of the candies and find out the which box has the least number of the candies one two three 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So, we just write numbers here so that uh, it is in our mind that okay, it has a 10 candies. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So it has a 12 candies. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. It has a 8 candies. So, which box has a less amount of candies? Ah, very good. So, option C is a correct answer. Now, come to the question number 15. How many butterflies are there to all together? So, all together means we have to count all and find out the number. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So, there are 18 butterflies. Correct? Okay. But you can see here, 18s are written in a different ways. So, let's count. 
which is the correct answer okay so i'll just write it here eating yeah so see let's find the first one this said okay so you can uh, not this first one we'll just see the 18 18 so you already know that 18 means 1 is on the 10s place and 8 is on the 1s place. We can write in a other way. We can read it like that 1 tens 8 1s. Right? If we write in expanded form in a words, we can write 1 tens 8 1s. Means 1 is on the 10s place, 8 is on the 1s place. So it is equal to 18. So now you can see here the first part 1 tens 8 ones. Wow, that is the correct answer. Yes, so we just circle that. Okay, let's see others. Kids, you can see 18 tens. Is this a correct 18 tens? It said 18 is on the tens place. Okay, so that means 8 is on the tens place. What about the ones here? Once means it's a zero. So, one is on the hundred place. So, that number is 180. So, that is not a correct answer. One tens and six ones. You, you, you can already see here. One tens and six ones. Which gives you a 16. So, that is also not correct answer. Now, come to the eight tens. So you can see 8 tens that means on the 1's place it is a 0 that's 80. So which is the correct answer? The first one is our correct answer 80. 1 tens 8 ones. Well done kids. Good job. Now come to the 16th question. Arrange the giving balls from the biggest to smallest. Okay. The first you have to write the bigger box, bigger number of the balls which is the bigger one. Q. Very good. That means we have to write in a descending order. Decreasing order. After that, smaller the when is R. And then, then you can see the P and S is left, which is correct answer. After R, P. Good job, kids. And the last one is S. So, this is our decreasing order. Let's see which option is correct. This starts with P. Cross. We have to see which one is correct, which starts with the Q. We have to check with this and the this one, D part, D option. So, C is also correct because it starts from S. So, after Q, R, that's correct. That is also correct. Okay. After R, we have to see P. So, this, it has a P, but it has a S. So, that means B option is correct. Okay. Well done, kids. Now move on to the 17th question. Which of the following amount is more than 60 rupees? So now you can see here rupees are written here. These are the notes. You have to count the notes. Only simple you have to add the notes and find out the total amount. So this is a 50 rupees note. That means it is a 50 only. This is 50 plus 10. 50 plus 10 means it, it is gives you a 60 rupees. Well done. So, kids, you can see it is more than 60. We have to find out the more than 60. You can see it is equal to 60. So, that means this is not a correct answer. 20 plus 10, it is a 30. 30 plus 5, it is a 35. That is also not correct. 50 plus 20 is equal to 70. Yani that means D part is a correct option. D is a correct option. Now come to the 18th question. Shape dash shape is not present in the giving cloud. So you can see there is a cloud picture. Which shape is not present? Though let's see which shape are present here. So rectangle rectangle yes it is present so what i will do i'll just tick okay yeah this one is okay i crossed it because i have i want to take 
not present circle yes it is here triangle yes it is here square no i didn't find any square so that means d option is a correct option question number 19 find the missing value so look here there are the two boxes which are adding here so let's see which number are these and if we add these numbers which number we will get okay so this type of uh, already we did five tens and three ones let's see i'll just write it here question number 19 five tens and ones is three so you can see here five tens three ones means it is the number is 53 if this number is going adding add with three tens so on the tens place we have to write three on the ones place we have to write two so the number second number is 32 now we have to add this number so 3 plus 2 gets 5 well then 5 plus 3 8 85 good job so you can see the option a b c d so c option is correct well done kids now let's come to the next question 20 if yesterday was sunday then tomorrow will be to solve this type of question so kids what you have to do mark it here on the rough area rough page what you will do mark here today that is today tomorrow means next coming day and yesterday the day which already went okay so today uh yesterday was sunday so yesterday was sunday it gives you a yesterday was sunday that means what is the day today after sunday which day will come monday well done monday and after monday so if today is monday the tomorrow will be tuesday well done kids you did a good job so our option b is a correct option Well done, kids. So you all did a good job. I think you understand each and every small points here, and you know how to solve it. So if you like my channel, please subscribe it and enjoy this video and share with your friends. Bye.